Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will discuss what is configuration management. Okay, configuration management is a team that's associated with configuration as code. Configuration management refers to the automated management of configurations, typically in the form of automated scripts or programs that you run regularly on the deployment. For example, say you have dozens or even hundreds of systems that serve the same or similar function and you need each of them to be configured in the exact same way. How might you open up a new firewall port on each system? You, need, you might connect to each system remotely and open the port. However, that task is time consuming and prone to errors. A better way be to modify an existing configuration management script then through automation you apply that script to your fleet doing so takes much less time and is less prone to errors so configuring an automation script you deploy the script to hundreds of thousands of servers and the job is done comparing manual configuration process to those that are more automated automated process typically enable you to reproduce bugs or inconsistency more easily you can more easily trace and audit changes over time you can configure many related systems more consistently and with fewer errors. Configuring your systems through automation also frees you from the need to document the differences among systems. Through automation, each system is configured in the exact same way. Configuration as a code helps you implement a configuration management strategy. A good configuration management strategy includes running automated tools to keep all of your system configured the exact same way. When you run configuration tools in your CI CD pipelines, such as Azure pipelines, you ensure that your infrastructure is always configured the way you need it as you build out new features. We have already discussed what is the configuration drift. So let me just rephrase it one more time. Configuration drift happens when resources change over time from their original deployment state. This is caused by changes made by people, processes or programs and can happen manually or through automated process. So what about the security consideration when it comes to configuration drift? Configuration drift can also introduce security vulnerabilities into the environments while eliminating configuration drift entirely can be difficult running a configuration management tool can help you manage it so let, let's say if i say that uh, configuration as a code is related to infrastructure as a code and how is that so the concept of configuration as a code it's similar to the concept of infrastructure as code in fact you can combine the two models to automatically provision and then configure your systems all in one step. For example, your CI CD pipeline might use an Azure Resource Manager template, Terraform or other automated provisioning process to bring up your infrastructure. Then you might run Chef, Puppet, Ansible or other configuration tool to set up your infrastructure with everything your application needs service to run. So you 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 provision your infrastructure using the ARM templates or Terraform or any other automated provisioning. Then you can use the Chef or Puppet or Ansible to configure your infrastructure using this functionality. Okay, this is the uh, theory that I wanted to cover before we get to the practicals and I show you how exactly can we achieve it. What are the, how would the pipeline look? and uh, how would we can do other stuff while setting up the configuration as code so in next video we'll pro proceed with the labs and uh, i hope you guys like it till next time have a good day ahead